A plan to build the library of the future in Brown County is running into a snag. And it has to do with money. How much would Brown County taxpayers be willing to pay? $10 million? $20 million? That's about $100 per person in the county. More? Well, that's what library officials are pushing for. Fox 11's Mark Leland on special assignment tonight tells us that for some, the dollars to build the library of the future do not make a lot of sense. It's going to be more and more electronic, more digital. Um, it, exactly what it's going to look like, I, I don't know. Brown County Library Director Lynn Stainbrook is pitching a 17 to $23 million plan to renovate the 40-year-old downtown central library. Stainbrook points out the total figure could be cut back, but in reality, it could also grow. More on that later. The proposal includes a glassed-in expansion with more space for computer technology to embrace the growing trend toward books online. The plan has been discussed, reviewed, and options considered for five years by the library board. We're going to pick and choose from the $23 million plan as to what's really important, what's necessary for the building, um, what what we can get into this building for the most efficient cost possible. The first step to achieving this library of the future is to do an overall cost analysis and engineering study on each of the projects that are part of the overall plan. The county board approved one and a half million dollars in bonding back in March to do so. Did you like the plan back in March? Well, I didn't necessarily like the plan because I thought it was too expensive. What I did like was the uh, new ideas and the concepts for what we could do with the existing library. Supervisor Pat Evans was among the 20 county board members voting yes on the bonding, only two opposed. But the April elections ushered in eight new board members, many with a more conservative approach to spending. David Steffen is one of those new board members raising concerns. Right from the beginning, I have been a, a big proponent of, of making sure we uh, measure twice and cut once when it comes to some of these big financial issues. And with a price tag of 17 to 23 million dollars, not a single penny of it currently in our coffers, um, I think it was a good opportunity to, to evaluate. I understand only too well that, the, that, that money is not available. Stainbrook wanted just the engineering cost analysis complete so all would be ready to go when taxpayer or private funding was made available and the library of the future could proceed. But in the meantime, neither side could ignore a 2009 professional inspection of the library that rated the existing condition of the building as poor. The report cited safety concerns with electrical circuit breakers to emergency lighting not meeting code. An updated public works assessment of the aging building in July added replacing the outdated public elevators. Total cost of the needed improvements? $3.5 million. County Executive Troy Streckenbach says the safety concerns should be a priority over spending for the future. We're not there at this point, and I think we have to really face the concern of the, f of the safety issues and try to get those addressed as soon as possible. Stainbrook says the safety concerns would be corrected as part of the renovation plan. I just question whether or not we're doing it in the most um, cost-effective manner. Supervisor Evans agrees. I equate it to putting a new hood on a car that has a broken engine. If we're going to spend money, then let's spend the money correctly. Supervisor Stephan questions the costly vision of the library of the future. For Brown County, uh, right now, I can access over 50% of the content of that library on this device. Do we really need to be expanding the size of that facility by 20%? Um, it's quite possible that the library of the future doesn't include as much floor space, and doesn't include as many hardcover books, but is more based on technology. Stainbrook agrees with growing technology, but says the number of items physically checked out of the library last year rose to 2.5 million, while ebook checkouts grew to just 70,000. She says the future will require more space for computers and download stations. The library also puts on a full schedule of public events and has become a growing resource for understanding how all that computer technology even works. Certainly the brand is that we have books available for people to check out, but we do so much more. But ultimately for the county and taxpayers, the library of the future comes down to cost. 
and the library price tag doesn't include all the money you would be paying for. Here's a little bit of the dirty secret. It's not just 17 to 20 million because not a single penny of that has been saved. So you're talking borrowing costs on top of that. What does that mean? Add a third. So now we're talking somewhere between 21 and 30 million dollars. That's the real price tag of that redevelopment. Heading into 2013, County Executive Streckenbach is already working to eliminate four million dollars from the county budget. He says funding the debt payment on the library project would cut another one and a half million dollars, meaning more overall cuts. So if we have to take out another million and a half to uh, pay for this increased uh, bonding, what budget um, you know, basically gets cut by 1.5 million in order to pay for that debt. But one thing that's become obvious is that we still don't have a plan. And that means Brown County is no closer to the library of the future. On special assignment, Mark Leland, Fox 11 News. And one more point, we have a link to more information about the Brown County Library renovation plan in the news link section of fox11online.com. And if you have a story idea for our special assignment team, just send it to us. An email will do it at osa at wluk.com.